What is up, Crafty Crafters? This is Crafty Craftsman. Uh, it may have been a while since you watched my last video. Well, it's been a, a few days. Well, about a week, I guess. Um, but today, our uh, last video that you saw, if you watched them in order, uh, was the oil change on my uh, Mary here. Uh, which kind of, which went well. I spilled some oil, obviously. Um, and some more oil over there, just a minute ago, because guess what? I made another video. Halfway through it, I got a call, and if you use your phone, it kind of sucks when you get a call, especially when you're making a video. But I'm going to try and keep this short, because obviously I already, did, I already did this, and uh, I don't want this to take forever to upload, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, oh my gosh, we are going to fix this jack, which was kind of spongy, and did not pump up all the way. Now, there's several videos out there that tell you, well, if your jack is spongy, does it pump up all the way, it's most likely, most likely in, oh... Most likely an air problem. Now that may be true. To me, it partially was, but it was the fact that I only had like half the oil I needed in there in this jack. And I'm astonished because in my last video, obviously, I spilled some oil and I went to go put the rubber cap back in. Oh, and if you have uh, jack problems, go buy one of these little jugs of oil. They're like $4 at Walmart. This is a one of these. The black jack from Walmart. It's like $25. There's the oil for it. It's like, uh, this is like $25 a jack, and the oil is like $4. So anyway, um, yes, if it doesn't pump up all the way, it's probably that you don't have enough oil in there. In my case, it was literally like half as much oil, I and mean, it wasn't good. Uh, but it could be an air problem. So if you have an air problem, what you do is you unscrew the valve so that it doesn't go anywhere, and it maybe even goes down, and you pump it several times. Oh, a little bit more than that. And you pump it several times so the air circles back up to this hole. Now, in my case... I actually did have quite a bit of air in there, but I also did not have near as much oil as I uh, needed. Oh, there's my cap right there. I got it. Yeah. It doesn't go in very well. I try to use a hammer, but I try to kind of pry on it, not actually hammer it in, because there's, there's a, you know, a bar in the way right there. But, uh, it, it's good. It does lift now, though. It wasn't lifting all the way. It does lift now. Um, so, now that we got this apart, I guess we can make a good video out of this anyway, even though it kind of... Yeah. Okay. How does a, how does a jack work? Well, a jack really is just... Hydraulic ram. How does a ram work? Well, a ram is... That's your ram right there. It's that little rod. Now, there's a little cylinder in there about a, the same size as that. And uh, this little fat reservoir piece is like a, like a cylindrical gas tank almost, but it holds oil for the ram. And that's where you fill your oil at. That's why there's a little hole there to fill the oil up. And when you pump this, there's another little cylinder. Ouch. Right there. That's your little cylinder, and it pumps up and down. It pumps the oil from this reservoir here to the ram. So, as you can see, pump this, and it goes up. That's how your jack works. So anyway, I kind of got this fixed already, but uh, I'll get this cap in, and I'll show you how it works now. And it works pretty good. By the way, be careful with these little rubber caps. They're kind of delicate, and they hate going back in where they're supposed to. <sighs> Hi, Kurumba. Okay, the secret to these caps, I guess, I figured out. There's a little hole right there on the top of that rubber cap. Yeah, you can see it. Right uh, there. I used a really thin screwdriver here. Put it right in that hole and just punched it down. Works good. Now, got that fixed. I'll set this uh, probably back on. Goes right about there. Looks good. Uh, I'll have to clean this up, but it's no big deal. Now we'll come over here under the lawnmower. Of course, I told you it leaked. What happened was, actually, when I made that first video, I told you it didn't go so well. That cap wasn't all the way in, and it popped back out, and it leaked a little bit of oil when it went down, which is okay-ish. I wasted oil, but it tells me that I had too much oil in there. So if I was out in the field doing that, and you know, wherever, and I lost that cap, I'd kind of be screwed because if you've got stuff in the oil, you could damage your van. For you that don't know, maybe you're in a different country or whatever it may have you. This is a uh, two-ton jack. What does that mean? It means it has a 4,000 pound capacity. One ton equals 2,000 pounds. Okay, as you can see, I'm very happy right now. This is uh, pumping up pretty good. So that was the problem. All I have to do is let that little valve or that little cap out. Pump it a few times, get some of the air out, and then fill it back up with oil, but don't overfill it, and fill it when the when the uh, ram is down, or your jack is down, so that works well. 
Well, I'll be honest, I'm really glad we got that fixed because I wasted a crap ton of oil. Not that oil, but a lot of oil from there too. Which, uh, which stays. And there, did I mention? Right there, and all that. Also, for those that didn't know from my last video, I told you I'd get new headlights. That was pretty good. Now, uh, let me show you what these headlights look like. They are LED 1156. That's the size they are. Now, every lawnmower is different, just like every lawnmower cover is different. So, when you go take a cover off, sometimes these plastic plates don't come off. This is an older mower. It's a 96. Uh, they weren't always smart back in 96 because, well, not Mary. I don't know. It's kind of, you know, kind of like GMC. Point being, everyone's different. Don't go jacking it up with a screwdriver and breaking stuff off because obviously these little, just the heli uh, plate cover for this mower is like 15 bucks. It's insane. But these ones pop out from the bottom corner here. Pop up. There we go. There's our little LED headlights in there. Look kind of funky. We may put some aluminum foil in there, but I don't think that's such a good idea. The old headlights now, those look like... Bada boom! Now, you may be asking yourself, well, Crafty Craftsman, why the heck did you change your headlights? Well, these are very yellow. Why is that important? Well, well actually, it's not really that important, but... You know, people judge a mower on... You know... Headlights. So if you have nice white headlights, they think you're a nice, bright person. Point being, they're much whiter, they're easier to see. Okay, that's it folks for this uh, this episode. Thanks for watching, and uh, like, subscribe, comment. Now what can you be expecting in the coming videos? Oh, I don't know. Well, let's see. I found a GoPro in the dump uh, this spring, a couple months ago. That's pretty cool actually. Um, it was a Hero Plus. Stay tuned. I will be doing videos on that and making videos from it. So, what else? Um, maybe even a snowbog. I'll probably do, be doing a uh, snowbog with the craftsman back there in the mirror, maybe. I might get the deck off. I don't know yet. We'll see. I may also put some uh, skis on it. I don't know yet, guys. Just gotta stay tuned and watch. So, uh, until later, until next time, like, subscribe, comment. Captain Craftsman, out.